I'm pleased to be in this hall to talk about a very hot topic in UAE and the region. This topic caught the attention of several institutions, the civil society, and the number of critics, and the youth, including female uh, citizens. So it has implications in the medium term and in the long term. Of course, we will see uh, some results in the short terms and we believe that this will benefit our nation and our society and the state of the UAE in general, especially with regards to the local stability, regional stability and international stability as well. So once again, I would like to thank the center for their interest in such national topics and for being following all the issues which are current the center is holding a very important and reputable position and it is now one of the international centers of research worldwide and i hope that this center continues its achievements and that it leads by example among other uh, institutions in the uae uh, the federal uh, law uh, number 6, uh, 2014, regarding uh, the uh, national service uh, is uh, catching lots of uh, interest and importance among uh, individuals, uh, citizens, and uh, government institutions. And I will uh, try to contribute from my side to deepen the discussion about this topic and the interest about this topic. So uh, there is a total trust uh, from the society towards the leaders of the UAE. This absolute trust uh, is reflected on the responsiveness of the youth, males and females. And it is a prompt response, and it reflects admiration of the leaders of the UAE and the respect of the seriousness and credibility of these decisions. According to the title, of course, I will not uh, delve into details regarding uh, the uh, decision. And I will not uh, talk about uh, deep uh, details, as I said, about uh, national service, uh, especially the ones uh, which talk about uh, operations. But I will uh, talk uh, about strategic things uh, which serve the topic of uh, this evening. So I will talk about security, growth, and the relation between these two, in addition to the role of armed forces in uh, the world. And I will talk in particular about the role of armed forces in the UAE and how we can uh, contribute together uh, to the stability uh, and the security of the country because uh, they are the major agent to uh, make uh, uh, the uh, country uh, safe and shielded against the threats uh, of uh, different countries in the world, which can be considered as potential enemies. So I will uh, start by talking about uh, the militaries in the world. Uh, since uh, the world wild uh, war, the second world wild war. So as you know, uh, there was uh, a flourishing trend in the military industry since the first world wild, which started uh, uh, 
100 years exactly because it was it started at 1914 and if we go back to the history we can say that the uh, uh, military industry uh, is supported by this, the armies of uh, several states and countries and uh, it's uh, taken for granted that all militaries in the world uh, are relying on the effectiveness of operations and they rely on number of components uh, and pillars uh, primarily the human resources who are competent and capable. We have witnessed uh, several conflicts and wars and uh, it's why uh, the First World War was one of the turning points in the, in the contemporary uh, history uh, because it was uh, manifested by aggressive violence, a lot of uh, victims and losses because uh, it was depending on a uh, human factor primarily and it because it happened in some uh, 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 semi-limited uh, and enclosed areas in Europe. Uh, that circumstance was not suitable for the armies and uh, it's why uh, uh, there had been a need to uh, enlarge uh, the uh, interests of countries and to change the uh, type of wars and the evolution of military affairs emerge and the uh, revolution of uh, technical military technical affairs so these notions are still supported by the militaries uh, and the armed forces and will remain uh, receiving this support from uh, different uh, countries uh, from the budget uh, in order to uh, uh, protect the interest of this state and realize uh, uh, their goals and objectives. One of these uh, 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 objectives is achieving security. Uh, this technical uh, change uh, in industrial countries in particular led to uh, the flourishment of research and the investment of human capital in growth and development. The uh, military needs uh, contributed to the emergence of internet after the Second World War. So this is briefly uh, some... Uh, flashes about uh, the uh, history of a military in the world. So security is always uh, present and you may agree with uh, me if I say that we need more and more uh, of security uh, nowadays but uh, the need is increasing for security in order to uh, have a safe environment and secure environment for our societies and our individuals. So uh, the uh, national security became uh, our uh, obsession, became our uh, priority, including in great and superpowers, uh, because it is uh, something uh, of concern for individuals, institutions and all uh, entities uh, and security in Islam is uh, prioritized and it is existing in the Quran and in the Hadith and the Sunnah. A lot of verses, Quranic verses and Hadith uh, talk about uh, the importance of security and uh, we find uh, some uh, verses which uh, link uh, security with uh, food security, with uh, development and security in its larger and wider uh, meaning and security uh, linguistically is the opposite of fear. It is a result which we realize using uh, some tools and means, which means that it is a status uh, which necessitates procedures, tools, policies, legislations, and a number of aspects before achieving it and reaching it. 
According to first, the security is a state of uh, absence of threats to the center of the state or the society and the uh, absence of uh, fear uh, in order to prevent this, the values of the society from any kind of threat or danger. Uh, And there are other notions which are slightly different according to some British references. Security is securizing and shielding the state and components of the state from uh, external threats. Uh, so uh, during the last decade, uh, security has been seen as one block uh, twofold, uh, which cannot be separated from uh, other uh, aspects and the pillars of the state, which is growth and development. We cannot, cannot reach development and growth if we don't have security. So it is interrelated. The, uh, pro the, the program uh, of uh, national uh, service in the UAE uh, has been uh, decided recently and uh, according to the item uh, uh, 43 in the constitution of the UAE it mentions that uh, defending the country is a sacred role and obligation that should be assumed by the citizen so it is uh, some uh, need which is legislative uh, religious and uh, required by all means so when this decision has been taken, uh, and as I said, uh, the uh, law number six is twofold. It talks about uh, the uh, national service uh, and uh, the other service, which is optional. So it's why we can say that uh, uh, this uh, law uh, is uh, very uh, important because it will has uh, it will have some implications for security and the military and it will contribute to the development and progress of the UAE in the future all countries um, state in their legislations that defending the state and the country and the patri is a must uh, by the citizens and here we call it a national service and uh, as you know, a lot of countries uh, exercise uh, this uh, compulsory service. Uh, some countries, uh, they uh, stopped uh, using and exercising that, uh, especially in Europe. And some countries uh, uh, use uh, some other uh, practices like uh, voluntary uh, action and voluntary participation in the national service and in the military, etc. Uh, but the norms and the patterns of uh, national services uh, differ from a uh, country to the other. But we have some geopolitical and economic uh, factor in addition to technical factor which uh, modify uh, every single experience. The nature of threats uh, is one of uh, the uh, uh, factors which determine uh, th this national services. In some countries, especially uh, the highly populated countries, uh, they uh, use uh, some selective criteria and rely uh, some uh, category uh, criteria as well, uh, like China, for instance. Uh, countries uh, which have constitutions uh, are 190 countries, 120 uh, states in their constitutions, some items which uh, 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 mention the uh, national service as a compulsory obligation. And there are some uh, uh, other countries which uh, put options for the citizen. And 
Despite the fact that not all countries are applying this law, I think that it can become compulsory any time. Uh, the United Arab Emirates benefited from the experiences of other uh, countries because decision making is made according to uh, legal and legislative criteria and after feasibility studies and deliberations and coordination, consultation and uh, democratic practices. Uh, this democracy we talk about uh, represents a part of uh, the culture and the structure of the United Arab Emirates uh, and it is deeply rooted in our heritage. The mechanism of uh, um, decision making aims to achieve the high values of uh, the nation and the citizens. One of this is building uh, the uh, uh, nation and uh, achieving its goals. And uh, the national service is a tool to achieve our high objectives. Uh, armed forces in the United Arab Emirates are uh, promptly uh, responding uh, and they are, we are pre, they are preparing and making necessary preparation in order to fulfill uh, the components and the requirements of national service. We are ready now. And uh, you might have noticed uh, during the last few days that uh, there have been a, a series of decisions which detail uh, this national service law. So I hope uh, that uh, this law uh, will help us achieve our objectives and we are confident that it will. Uh, thanks God uh, uh, and the thanks uh, to our leaders who will support that uh, uh, national service. Uh, the uh, benefits of our youth will be huge uh, individually, uh, family uh, or society. The giving of uh, our youth after completing uh, the uh, four uh, years of service uh, will encourage them uh, to assume their responsibilities and play their roles in uh, 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 this era because as you know uh, nowadays uh, we are uh, witnessing a number of troubles in uh, the world and we cannot expect or predict what will happen uh, during the next decade it's why we have to be ready and prepared our nation and our youth for any potential uh, uh, clashes, uh, turbulences. Uh, I'm sure that uh, this conflict are complex uh, and are uh, challenging and facing these challenges uh, will not be uh, uh, possible if we uh, don't work synergetically, people and leaders and implement our uh, policies. Uh, going back uh, to the relation of uh, the military institution in any country with the development, uh, I can say that uh, since uh, uh, the last century, we can say that uh, uh, the conception of this relation, uh, especially in some parts of the world, uh, or interlinked uh, with uh, the way uh, the, the, the role of the military uh, uh, is looked by uh, the nation and uh, undoubtedly the uh, armed forces uh, look for protecting the nations and uh, facing the external threats in particular and protecting the integrity and the fortunes of the state in addition to its values and of course protecting the values of the state from threats coming as well from the internal of the country. 
so we have to talk about some geolo geopolitical factors and some historical factors. The history of the armed forces play a role in crystallizing the picture about that panorama because it has some impact. The role of the armed forces has impact on the feeling of confidence of the citizens and the feeling of security and even the general behavior and their look to the decisions of the leaders, uh, the position, the credibility, the powers, liability of armed forces and their practices, uh, uh, in addition to the heritage, of course, if uh, there is any. So our armed forces uh, hold a very distinguished position, uh, 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 both uh, uh, in the society and uh, in the eyes of the leaders, uh, it is considered as a main pillar for the security and safety and development in the UAE. Uh, in reality, uh, uh, the armed forces and the military institution is one of the uh, most important components of the state, without which we cannot call uh, a nation a state. It has uh, its elements, it possesses a number of uh, values and invariables uh, in addition to some developing features which it changes according to uh, the latest trends. So uh, this uh, military institution uh, protects uh, the nation uh, throughout uh, the whole uh, geography and the land of the state uh, and this includes waters, uh, skies and land. It is uh, the institution which uh, regain uh, the rights uh, uh, in case of some colonization or some conflict. It uh, has uh, uh, human resources who are ready to sacrifice their lives uh, for the sake of the patri and for the sake of the citizens. It, they, uh, are, uh, very, uh, their role is very decisive in attracting investments and achieving the welfare state. So ladies uh, and gentlemen, we can say that our armed forces uh, or the institution uh, uh, is the institution which will receive very soon a number of uh, youth, uh, they will contribute to achieve uh, the strategy of our state, our national strategy. Why uh, we decided uh, to uh, uh, have uh, this uh, uh, national service at this time? As I said, because we came to the conclusion that it became a necessity, uh, our citizens uh, needs, need uh, to be uh, uh, trained the need uh, to deepen some values in order to uh, apply the responsibilities as required. We should deepen the sense of uh, nationalism uh, and the pride of being a national, defending the patri in them. And we think that by them we can achieve the strategic objectives of the country. As you know, the United Arab Emirates achieved a lot of achievements during uh, its uh, four decades. It is some record time uh, if we compare it to other countries uh, worldwide. Uh, uh, with regards to the armed forces, uh, we can uh, state uh, that uh, there were uh, priorities and stages uh, which uh, moved gradually from one phase to the other because in the beginning we were having the priority of uh, uh, localizing and emeritizing uh, our forces. After that we had to modernize the capabilities and then we came uh, to uh, this uh, very important step which is national service after four decades. Uh, the readiness and preparedness uh, for uh, fighting and uh, facing uh, uh, the potential uh, conflict and the clashes necessitates that uh, we uh, 
give uh, uh, great importance uh, to uh, the effective approaches of training our youth in order to help them uh, protect and defend uh, the state. You may think that the issuance of this decision uh, has been imposed or uh, was a result of some assumptions uh, or some states uh, or some scenarios of potential wars. It's not true, I can assure you. Because uh, challenges uh, uh, for a state uh, or something uh, uh, normal. It happened in the past, it's happening in the present, and it will continue happening in the future. And uh, uh, countries and the states uh, need to deal with that and to cope with that. Uh, uh, we know that uh, armed forces uh, uh, should uh, stay uh, stand by always, and uh, we notice, as I said, an increasing uh, a trend of uh, multinational threats, and especially in our region, in our neighboring areas and countries. This necessitates the progress and development of our military approaches, and uh, these threats are there, and they remain existent. So this means that uh, scenarios of war and conflicts are existing, which means that we have to prepare ourselves in order to face these challenges. But what are the potential results and how can we uh, perceive and visualize any scenario of conflicts and clashes? It uh, varies from one time to the other, from one country to the other, and according to the priorities and circumstances, which necessitates uh, the modernization and updates of strategies locally reg and regionally as well. This uh, should be based on uh, calculating the resources we have and updating the legislations, the procedures, the update uh, should also include uh, re, uh, uh, considering uh, the, al the al uh, alliances. So uh, in our uh, region, uh, Thomas Friedman, the journalist, uh, described our region as the dark street. If we uh, uh, think about uh, this uh, statement, uh, the dark street, uh, we may feel, uh, feel that it is unfair, but in reality, the, uh, what is going on uh, reflects partially uh, somehow the statement of Thomas Friedman. If we look at the decl Declaration of the United Nations, which states that one of the goals of the United Nations is protecting the peace and security in the world. The second, uh, the lack of geo geopolitical uh, system which uh, can uh, guarantee the effectiveness, uh, uh, which can guarantee the security and stability of the region. The third, uh, the complexity of uh, the uh, conflict uh, of this region and the lack of solutions for the problems of uh, this region, the GCC uh, region. Uh, the crises are increasing, are getting more complex, intensify, and uh, gaining more areas which uh, uh, increases uh, the feeling of disappointment. And we see what's happening in Afghanistan, Palestine, Syria, Somalia, Libya, Iraq, etc. And the list is <laughs> maybe endless. Uh, fourth, 
One of the features of the strategic environment of our region is the lack of clarity of uh, the superpowers which are influential. In addition to the regional uh, great powers, which makes a lot of issues becoming more com complex and which generates uh, negative implications and repercussions on the level of economy, uh, socially, in addition to other uh, levels. Adding to that, uh, the threats uh, which surround the societies and uh, the inability to predict uh, the future uh, threats, uh, whether we will uh, be uh, threatened uh, by some external uh, uh, factor, uh, will it be a military, uh, cultural, uh, economical, nobody knows. This necessitates that we uh, deal with all potential scenarios, uh, and this necessitates, uh, in its turn, to mobilize our society to prepare different strategies in order to contain all the crises that can happen in the future, in addition to facing all potential challenges. And there is, there are also. Uh, uh, serious security problems in a lot of countries which necessitate uh, the smooth adaptation with the latest trends and sometimes uh, some incidents uh, happen in some country and the predictions say uh, that this what will happen and suddenly we uh, receive something uh, that is shocking that was not predicted by anybody from that country and from outside so uh, going come going back to the national service program i, I think that it is uh, motivated uh, by uh, this uh, circumstances uh, the time and the goals uh, maybe uh, of interest and he may raise some questions but uh, we uh, raise the question again are there any threats uh, of course no but there are potential threats in the future f not only for us in the UAE but for all countries in the world this is our belief and uh, this uh, necessitates of course building the uh, human resources and mobilizing our citizens uh, synergetically in order uh, for all of us to contribute to uh, the stability and security which we enjoy. There are also uh, some uh, external uh, factors and we have to develop our capabilities in order to fulfill our uh, needs uh, according to uh, the vision uh, regionally uh, which is uh, still inst unstable we need uh, to uh, have the balance between uh, uh, our different objectives uh, we have to continue uh, achieving uh, growth and development in the UAE we have a strategic plan which uh, uh, will realize the vision of Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates uh, till 2021 and till 2030 so uh, uh, the national service is a part of the objectives of 2021 and 2030 and it will uh, have uh, some social benefits, a lot of social benefits as well. Uh, prioritizing the role of the citizen is not something new. It started uh, uh, since the establishment of this union uh, in 1971 by Sheikh Zayed, the late Sheikh Zayed. And now we are witnessing uh, a series of policies and programs which cover all the needs of the youth and encouraging them to assume their responsibilities and their obligations toward the nation and toward the state. 
and uh, the uh, ministerial uh, uh, council in November uh, 2012 had stated that uh, and said that uh, the policies we take now reflect uh, our heritage and the vision of the founder of the UAE, Sheikh Zayed, the late Sheikh Zayed, and we are sure that this national service will encourage our youth to become more confident and to become more effective uh, and to help us achieve our goals and objectives of the UAE. Uh, now we are living in a globalized world. And we have to look at the national service in this context. And when I say globalization, I say culture, of course. So we have to protect our cultural values. Sometimes we uh, uh, think that uh, our youth don't uh, uh, see these values in full clarity. There are, of course, uh, some positive aspects of globalization, but we should emphasize that uh, we need to protect our cultural values because, unfortunately, there are some negative aspects which have negatively affected our youth. So we have a common responsibility, uh, and we as a community and as a nation and society of United Arab Emirates, we have to be careful. Uh, we have to uh, 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 encourage the families, parents to uh, guard uh, the culture, our cultural values. But still, we are optimistic and we hope and we believe that the national service will uh, help us and the families and the parents overcome all uh, challenges, difficulties in order to protect our values. Of course, uh, we had to uh, look at education, our education system. Maybe our education system managed to overcome some difficulties uh, and contribute to development and growth, but it was enable to uh, fulfill some requirements we had to, we have to be honest and acknowledge that especially when it reg uh, with regards to uh, some uh, national issues and uh, some uh, future uh, trends for uh, the UAE uh, we still uh, we are still suffering from some uh, from some traditional practices in the education field and education is uh, still uh, suffering from some difficulties. It is a difficult mission uh, and we have to work on different level in order to develop the education system in parallel with other systems. So these are the challenges and uh, this uh, needs time. It may take one decade or two decades in my personal opinion and maybe more than that if we uh, if we want to share uh, the objectives or the results the positive ones uh, from the national service we can be uh, summarized as follows and uh, as I said in the beginning, uh, they are not instantaneous and they will not be uh, long term. And, but the thing that they will be gradual, we will be witnessing uh, increasing positive results with the uh, increase of uh, people and youth who join the national service. The program which uh, follows uh, the national uh, service uh, law will have uh, some benefits on the military institution because uh, we have backup forces. It will be supported. 
and this will uh, contribute to uh, making our people more confident uh, and uh, also the residents uh, more confident as well because it will enhance uh, the defense capabilities of the state in order to face any potential or sudden threats. Uh, so a volunteering system is no longer feasible as it was before. So uh, the contemporary trends uh, necessitate a lot of uh, preparedness uh, and more than volunteering. In addition to that, and uh, one uh, point which was a weakness, a weak point, uh, we have to overcome it. Uh, and I mean here the mobilization. We need to use mobilization in order to uh, get the benefit from our citizens and uh, to act promptly and effectively. It's why we think that this program will enhance and nurture uh, the, our capabilities in the armed forces and uh, make them become uh, fast and prompt in responding. Uh, the national service will uh, enhance uh, the deterrence uh, and the military uh, security, which uh, will make anyone uh, who has some uh, bad ill uh, towards our country, uh, they, will build, they will be dealt with more seriously and they will be deterred. Uh, we aim as well uh, to spread the culture of defending the country uh, among the youth and this will be done uh, through uh, making uh, the uh, fresh uh, students and fresh graduates co-existing and dealing uh, with the uh, old graduates and the past graduates. Uh, the military culture, as I mentioned, uh, is based on uh, uh, seriousness, uh, courage, uh, feeling of nationalism, uh, accountability, uh, time management, etc and engagement, of course. And uh, in our daily life, uh, we uh, see that uh, people who can apply these values are uh, capable and eligible uh, to uh, join uh, the military uh, institution and be effective uh, and uh, uh, deliver a high quality uh, performance. One of the goals that the National Service aims to achieve uh, is to reinforce uh, the uh, security uh, component and uh, we will uh, uh, continue prioritizing uh, the security as a pillar in our society and uh, we will continue to uh, explain to all uh, uh, the recruits uh, that uh, uh, the training uh, will uh, be a step towards uh, reinforcing our security and shielding our country. And uh, by doing this, we will uh, not allow uh, our enemies uh, from uh, the region and the world and we will uh, allow all our citizens who vow to defend the country to assume their roles. And uh, since uh, this will uh, uh, include a category of age uh, which is primarily uh, young, I think that these capabilities will be polished and oriented in order to achieve uh, the target of our state and serve our uh, national objectives. Uh, I don't know whether I exceeded the time or still I have some minutes. Can you tell me? Do I have five minutes or 15 minutes? Five minutes. Okay, thank you. So, enhancing uh, the unity of uh, the United Arab Emirates uh, 
uh, reinforcing the identity of UAE, sacrifice for the patri, uh, feeling of loyalty and protecting the values of the UAE that are necessary to uh, pres preserve our nation. Also strengthening uh, the relations between uh, our citizens and allowing uh, them to uh, know each other during the training because they will spend uh, uh, fair, uh, periods of time with each other and they will be able to uh, bond with each other in addition to benefiting from the courses and the training they will receive they will receive and they will do that collectively and uh, by doing this they will uh, build uh, more the sense of uh, collective work. Uh, this will uh, also uh, help us in amortizing uh, the uh, jobs uh, and uh, uh, the, this will help us fighting uh, joblessness and unemployment. Uh, the national service will uh, implant the values of uh, uh, the uh, nation and uh, encourage the importance of prompt responsiveness. As you know, the term FAZA means uh, acting promptly and responding promptly and it is deeply rooted in the Emirati heritage and it's a uh, part of the tribal culture in the UAE. It means that uh, by nature we should act promptly, we should defend ourselves and we should uh, allow uh, uh, the uh, ones who have the right to keep their rights and regain their rights in case they lose them. And this is in a sustainable way. So the National Service will uh, help us uh, serve equality of rights uh, because we will open the door to all our youth, including the females. So, uh, through the National Service, there will be uh, an opportunity for the uh, youth to uh, get acquainted with the leaders and uh, get acquainted with uh, our uh, self-capabilities. Uh, th this will allow, us, uh, allow them to polish their skills as well. And this will be part of the uh, preparation of uh, our future generation in the military institution. Uh, spreading awareness uh, among large uh, uh, communities in the society and applying a secure, high security criteria uh, among the youth will uh, increase the feeling and the sense of security and uh, this will shield us against uh, the threats coming from uh, abroad and will uh, make us invulnerable to all kinds of threats. Let's talk about uh, the coming difficulties and the challenges which will face us in applying national service program. There won't be uh, difficulties uh, uh, as we perceive them, but any new program might face some uh, difficulties in implementation, some unseen uh, obstacles the volume of the uh, youth who will uh, join the military uh, is not a big number so uh, we have enough data we have uh, our preparations uh, going on uh, all the policies are uh, been uh, done so we hope that uh, the difficulties which uh, we might face are uh, negligent or can be overcome easily 
But I think that if any difficulty emerges, we will be able to uh, overcome it and uh, move to the next level. We, uh, tr uh, we are confident that our youth are reliable and they will be uh, up to it. We have the necessary logistics uh, and we have every arrangement taken. Um, Maybe there will be uh, some uh, disruption from uh, the, uh, um, some uh, media means uh, which have uh, bad intentions toward the UAE or uh, some uh, suspicions from uh, some uh, parties. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we may uh, face uh, some suspicions uh, uh, from uh, people who are afraid of anything that is new or unfamiliar to them. But uh, overall, we have to say that, uh, thanks God, the United Arab Emirates enjoy, enjoys uh, a lot of uh, particularities. It's different from a lot of countries in the world. It is uh, a modern uh, state, uh, uh, but the relation between the leader uh, and the society is a historical and a strong and solid relation. It has been reinforced throughout the decades, and uh, now uh, we are living in uh, uh, homogeneous. Uh, and uh, harmonious uh, entity which is uh, United Arab Emirates uh, leaders and uh, people, uh, citizens uh, and leaders. Uh, the armed forces will contribute uh, to the growth and development uh, and protect and shield uh, the nation from the dangers and the threats, uh, uh, reinforce uh, our environment as uh, uh, and, att and attract the investment. Uh, armed forces already uh, to apply uh, the national service programs. Uh, our leadership is keen uh, to uh, achieve stability and security and to protect uh, uh, our uh, society. The uh, relation between growth and security is interrelated and interconnected. We believe that national service will have a, a big impact and will have a big benefits on the society for the future generation. It's why we have to work together, institutions, parents, uh, uh, and civil society in order uh, to realize this historical decision which will be for the sake of United Arab Emirates. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Captain uh, Salim Mohammed Salim Saadi, for uh, his uh, uh, distinguished presentation, in which he talked about the importance of national service and the role of armed forces and the military as a major component in uh, the state, the modern state, as you said. Uh, the importance of national service is part of a comprehensive strategy in our country uh, as well as in other uh, countries in the world. You talked about uh, the traditional and non-traditional threats uh, which are increasing nowadays and you talked as well about the national uh, security and the mode. you talked about the motives which uh, uh, pushed you to issue that law in this particular time. Uh, there, you talked as well about uh, the potential result of such uh, law and you said that maybe uh, we will face some difficulties and the challenges uh, but uh, that uh, we are able to face them and we will continue the implementation of national service and now we open the door to questions and comments and anyone who has a question or something to say please introduce yourself and then be concise and precise, please. In order to uh, give others uh, the chance to intervene. Well, we'll start with Dr. Sultan. 
the, the wireless microphone to Dr. Sultan, please. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Captain Mohammed al Saadi, thank you very much for this excellent presentation. I think that looking at the, uh, the term a national service, uh, which is far away from compulsory service or ob obligatory service, is significant because it signifies that uh, it's not about military only. And as you said, uh, the national service will enhance the values of the UAE because these values are instinctively existing in our harmonious society. What we understood that in addition to a military aspect, which will be uh, existing and present in the military, there are intellectual and cultural uh, values there will there will be seminars uh, lectures uh, which uh, uh, combine uh, military with the intellectual side uh, my question to you in addition uh, to the training uh, the students will receive uh, uh, and other aspects how uh, this combinations will uh, help in achieving the outcomes of the national service thank you dr sultan well, uh, uh, there is uh, one comprehensive uh, program which includes uh, different aspects, theory, practice, and this uh, will contribute to achieve the goals and objectives as the outcomes of this national service. We aim to uh, achieve uh, uh, semi-military uh, uh, objectives. We will not target uh, military objectives only, but uh, social and cultural objectives as well. As I said in my presentation, in order to have this multi-dimensional approach which uh, make the citizen uh, a real citizen in the full uh, sense of the term and in order to allow all the citizens contribute to shield our nation against the external threats and even internal threats. Uh, enhancing uh, the level of the citizen and increasing the feeling of uh, uh, Prompt responsiveness uh, will be a, a good achievement, especially in times of turbulence and uh, conflict. I was not uh, one uh, of uh, the team members who uh, uh, prepared uh, the programs for the national service, but I had a look at uh, this pro some of this program, and I can tell you that uh, the program is very promising it will be a real added value to the Emirati citizen and especially to our youth and our females. Thank you, Captain. Uh, let's give a chance to the locals, Emiratis. Peace be upon you. Uh, can you stand up, please? Introduce yourself. Uh, peace be upon you. Uh, I'm Mohammed Al Hamadi, a strategic uh, analyst. Thank you very much for your excellent presentation. I have a question. And part of that question is uh, was asked by Dr. Sultan. Since we look not only at the defense preparedness, uh, uh, but we want to uh, benefit from the youth, uh, the capabilities of the youth. What are the limits of this program? Uh, to what extent it will benefit from other programs, uh, not only uh, on the level of uh, preparedness, but on other levels? Uh, we know that uh, some countries, in some countries, the armed forces look at other projects uh, relevant to research and studies. How can we uh, benefit from this youth uh, capabilities uh, to uh, join this research and studies in uh, the national service program? 
Of course, uh, the numbers uh, which uh, will be subject to the training uh, are not high and uh, uh, different institutions will uh, contain uh, these numbers and according to me and to my knowledge, uh, the, pro the program is uh, three steps. Among these steps is working uh, uh, through uh, different institutions through several specialization and majors so the cultural background and educational background uh, for of the students will be taken into consideration uh, when uh, this student will be oriented in uh, the uh, national service program uh, Captain, uh, there are specialized uh, programs in the national service, yes uh, some uh, specializations which uh, limited number of students uh, will uh, study, uh, as I said, uh, this will be taken into consideration and they will receive the customized uh, training. Uh, and uh, as I said, the operational uh, details and the implementation of this operational details. To be honest with you, I don't know all the details of this operation, so I will answer you as far as I know. I'm uh, Captain Kamal Akrut from the Tunisian Embassy in the uh, United Arab Emirates. My question to uh, you, uh, Your Excellency the Captain, uh, you said uh, there are classical threats and uh, non-traditional threats. Uh, and we know that uh, these threats uh, have uh, impacts on the society, especially in our region. And we see that uh, some youth uh, are... Uh, sympathizing with some extremists and fundamentalists and we know uh, this uh, Islamic uh, extremist uh, unfortunately some youth in Europe and Arab countries are sympathizing with this extremist and on the other hand we uh, should say at the same time uh, that uh, we should mobilize the youth uh, to uh, sympathize with the uh, national cause and the national service. Do you have any uh, programs uh, tailored uh, to absorb and contain all uh, youth who might have some tendency to sympathize with uh, Islamic and Muslim extremists and uh, fundamentalists. I hope that I understand your question, but uh, as far as I understood your question, I think uh, personally that uh, the national service programs uh, are uh, uh, an opportunity to contain uh, all uh, people who can uh, be this turbed by some uh, dogmas and some ideologies which have nothing to do with our uh, culture and our religion. Uh, if uh, some uh, people deviate from uh, the logical thinking and the uh, uh, unified way of uh, protecting our country, I think that this program will be a chance to uh, uh, take them uh, back uh, to the uh, right track. Uh, so, uh, uh, this program will uh, be uh, positive for all categories of uh, our people. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. I'm Ali Lahmad from uh, uh, the, author the UAE Authority of Telecommunication, regulation, uh, Regulatory Authority of Telecommunication. Uh, I uh, see uh, that uh, and uh, uh, from my position, uh, I see that uh, the spread of mobiles and smartphones uh, this technology opened the door uh, worldwide uh, to uh, the fast circulation of uh, ideas. Unfortunately, not all ideas are uh, 
constructive and at the same time not all of them are destructive uh, so this intellectual invasion or this cultural invasion our youth are subject to do you think that it can be uh, tackled through this program of course I'm not talking about I'm not asking about the details but I would love to see if we can uh, 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 shield uh, our young uh, against this uh, cultural invasion uh, received through the smart uh, devices. Thank you very much. Regarding the programs uh, that uh, will uh, be included in the national service, uh, it's difficult uh, for them uh, to uh, cover every single thing, every single detail, but we aim to uh, implant and encourage moderate thinking suitable for the uh, age of the student who will be uh, recruited in the national service, uh, people who are promising or ambitious, uh, who uh, have uh, the readiness uh, to learn more. Uh, of course, uh, the last years uh, we uh, saw uh, turning points and big developments in technology, especially in the mobile devices and smart devices. I think that in the future uh, years, in future years, uh, we will not have uh, uh, the same uh, rhythm and the pace of development and we will uh, be having hopefully less uh, tensions. Uh, thank you very much Your Excellency the Captain. Uh, thank you for this excellent, excellent presentation. You shed some light on the history of military, uh, armed forces, etc. But I have a question. One of the results of the National Service is absorption of joblessness. I say it again, one of the objectives uh, of the National Service is to absorb uh, the joblessness and unemployment. Uh, uh, so we have uh, nine months and two years. The question here is what after this uh, nine months or two years? If we uh, don't find the solution to this problem, uh, we won't uh, be solving radically the problem of uh, joblessness. So uh, the, my question to you is can we uh, uh, establish uh, companies uh, for uh, the uh, excellent students and excellent graduates and uh, uh, this uh, this uh, companies will uh, uh, be like the Egyptian uh, counterparts which means uh, well I, I talked uh, briefly about that I said that uh, this will play uh, this uh, national service will play a role in absorbing uh, unemployment uh, we will uh, see a result in the first years uh, and uh, uh, as I said we will uh, contribute uh, to enhancing uh, the objectives and the goals of uh, uh, the leadership uh, if uh, the uh, young person uh, finds uh, themselves in the training camp or in an, institu an institution to receive the training, uh, they will uh, get outside of uh, the isolation. Uh, joblessness uh, can be voluntary in the United Arab Emirates because uh, requiring uh, and demanding the jobs here in the UAE is very selective and all the employers know that. Uh, Emirates are demanding and selective, uh, but uh, to go back to national service, I think it will uh, play, uh, play a role and it will be gradual, it will increase over time and it will uh, serve uh, our objective of uh, fighting uh, unemployment. <laughs> National service uh, is not for uh, non-workers, uh, I mean uh, jobless people, right? Yes, but uh, his question is di was different, I think.
uh, stand up please and introduce yourself I I ask you please pretty please to ask your question directly in reality uh, we in the private sector uh, you talk about uh, engagement discipline uh, increasing the skills and the leadership skills I hope uh, that uh, the center center uh, the Emirates uh, Center for Strategic Studies and Research organizes uh, uh, future seminars and workshops uh, to uh, describe and define the national service I'm from Alpha Time group uh, thank you very much your excellency for your presentation and I wish you can talk uh, to us how we can uh, benefit as private sector from the national service uh, of course, when I talk about uh, uh, acquiring the skills uh, and capabilities, uh, leadership skills, etc., uh, uh, it will, it involves all uh, the beneficiaries uh, from uh, the national service, uh, including uh, the high school uh, graduates uh, and others. Uh, this will contribute uh, to uh, more harmony and homogeneity and competitiveness uh, 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 the people will be uh, more eager uh, to uh, assume uh, leadership roles and uh, for the, uh, your question uh, and your suggestion to the Emirates Center uh, I leave it to uh, the chairman uh, our uh, events uh, and seminars are for the public and even if you look at our uh, topic and our title it's national service implications for security and the military it's not uh, specific it is general and it's open to the public regarding your question I would like to add something to what the captain said the national service gives you skills and capabilities and helps you to develop your uh, personal skills. Uh, these skills uh, exist uh, also in the private uh, sector and uh, this uh, benefits you and uh, makes you more productive. Now we may take a female voice. I think a woman would like to ask a question. Uh, peace be upon you, Mariam Al Kaabi, um, a social responsibility specialist. You talked about the implementation of that uh, program, the program of national service. I hope that uh, you share this idea with uh, the media officials, the messages uh, which were converted uh, to the citizens and uh, by journalists were uh, not enough. Uh, I hope that there is a media campaign which targets uh, the uh, students of high school and their parents in a, a, a lovely way in order to reflect the uh, essence of that national service in order to uh, make them understand that it is a part of our loyalty to the patri and to the state. Well, regarding the media plan, uh, there is uh, an actual and effective uh, media plan uh, which has been initiated and uh, now uh, the committee is uh, making uh, the final touches to update it in order to cover all elements of the national service and it will not ignore any uh, aspect of that national service and we give, uh, the committee gives it a great importance and I expect that it will answer uh, all the questions in the minds of the uh, youth and the parents. Now we will take another question from a lady behind. Can you stand up, please? Uh, peace be upon you. Hala Abu Lil. I'm a writer. I would like to ask about the role of the woman in the national service by in a, a timid way uh, 
it is the first time maybe that we praise the, the UAE woman because she has now this opportunity while other women in Arab countries don't have this chance. Uh, so my question is, uh, does the uh, Emirati woman is ready uh, to join this national service? Is she ready to get rid of uh, her jewels and her welfare life, luxury, car, uh, etc., and to join uh, the military training? That's my only question. I would like to tell you that the Emirati woman is motivated to work in the military, to be trained. She is an athlete, she is in the military, she is an employee, she is a leader. The Emirati woman is not the spoiled woman that, that has stereotypes in the Western media. The Emirati woman is a modern woman. Uh, who is not less than any other woman in the world. She works actively, she does everything. She does, uh, she can uh, play any role and she is uh, uh, proud of her values. I'm proud of the Emirati woman and I'm proud of the achievements made by uh, the Emirati woman. So the national service will be another uh, uh, chance for the Emirati woman to prove themselves. Uh, would like to add anything? Uh, would you like to add or comment on the answer? Uh, thank you very much, uh, but we won't get rid of our jewels and bags and the luxury, luxurious life, but maybe we can uh, sacrifice our sons, sons and children uh, for our state and nation. So now we'll take the question from the gentleman here, and after that, uh, the question from the lady. If you introduce yourself and stand up, please. In the beginning, I have two questions, but allow me to comment. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Captain, for this excellent presentation. And the second, uh, I'm Dr. Uh, Mendy. I'm a retired uh, officer uh, in, in, from the military, and I was a doctor, the first doctor uh, in the UAE military. And I was, I'm still remembering uh, when I was a doctor in the military. Uh, uh, I. Uh, faced some difficulties and I was bullied and humiliated but I made my way so uh, this is just to tell you that uh, the national service is uh, 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 a camp to uh, make our youth uh, more uh, harsh and more capable and we remember that Zayed said we implanted seeds uh, good seeds and we are now uh, collecting uh, the fruits of these seeds. I would like to tell uh, the captain that we would like to see uh, some uh, bylaws and uh, policies which cover all the, uh, the questions. Uh, and the, the, for instance, uh, in one army in, uh, the, in some country, uh, they give uh, you, the student, uh, one month a holiday uh, every year if uh, the training is two years. Also, they uh, offer uh, the high school students uh, the opportunity to drive uh, different uh, vehicles in the military. They try to make the training more attractive to them and they manage to do that. And especially in uh, the uh, a neighboring uh, uh, 
countries I think that if we think that national service if the national service is linked with the joblessness and the solution to joblessness I think we won't go so far we should disengage uh, national service from uh, uh, unemployment otherwise uh, we are not talking about loyalty anymore uh, regarding the national service, uh, it started with uh, a law uh, number six in 2014. And we have some bylaws uh, which will include further details. The armed forces and the state in general uh, benefited from the experiences of others in this topic. And we concluded that the best practices and the best things to uh, do and uh, we included them in the program that was tailored for the UAE uh, Emir for the UAE uh, youth who are eligible uh, to join the uh, military and the national service the military training uh, now is different than the training that was given in the 90s of last century uh, but uh, there are uh, some uh, practices which are still valid and will remain in uh, the coming decades uh, and uh, some values as well like discipline, engagement and when I talk about unemployment uh, I didn't mention it in the beginning but at the end, as I said, that it is a, a, a sub-result and a sub-objective. However, uh, we have main objectives like growth, uh, like uh, the strengthening of our defense capabilities and shielding our country from uh, external threats. Thank you, Captain. We take the last question from the lady there up there if you can stand up please uh, thank you peace be upon you Hanan Daibis uh, I'm a trainer I would like to comment uh, uh, on the question about the jewelry the bags and the luxurious life uh, uh, I think that it is something personal, but if uh, there is some obligation, the woman uh, is ready to sacrifice all these things. As a resident, I have 31 years in the UAE. I'm not an Emirati, but I have this feeling of belonging to the UAE. And I think that the giving to the country, to the state, uh, is based on that. And I support the, uh, that. And I will be able to join the military if I am asked to. I will be proud to do that. Last comment. So we'll give you the last chance to uh, answer or to comment. Well, last comment. Uh, thank you. Uh, I thank all the attendees uh, uh, and thank you for your interest. Uh, thank you for your listening. Uh, and I think that this topic uh, uh, is of great importance locally and is attracting the interest of uh, uh, every uh, single uh, young male or female every institution in private or a government institution and is prioritized by our leaders and we hope that we work together synergetically in our homes, in our institutions, in our companies, in the media to fight any kind of rumors or any negative voices which uh, may thwart our youth uh, to uh, join this national service. The training uh, will not be uh, harsh, uh, will not be difficult, and the joining uh, the national service will not uh, be as uh, might be pictured in the minds of some uh, uh, people, but we will uh, try uh, to uh, offer all uh, recruits the to develop their capabilities, skills, and to learn more, to know uh, each other, to deepen the sense of loyalty, of sacrifice, of leadership, of love to the country. 
and they will know each other and get acquainted with uh, uh, other graduates of other institutions. They will share their experiences together. They will have the chance to advise each other, to know each other, and to collaborate with each other for the sake of the UAE. Uh, truly, after uh, what you said and what has been said by the audience, I think that everybody will be enthusiastic to join the national service in order to pay back what the UAE uh, has offered its uh, citizens. At the end, I would like to thank on your behalf uh, the captain, uh, the pilot, uh, Mohammed Salim Saadi uh, from the uh, Defense uh, College for his presentation about the National Service, its implication for security and the military. I would like to thank you uh, as well for your questions, comments, and listening, and uh, see you in the next uh, seminar about uh, the Arabic uh, biometer, which will be given by Mike Tesler, a political professor from Michigan University.